Hey everybody, it's Chris, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on finding low competition keywords. Um, Nick has already done a video on this. He showed you guys the all in title and the all in URL uh, search operators trick, and I'm going to be going over a different method. Uh, this is pretty much the only method that I'm using to find uh, easy keywords to go after when I'm doing keyword research. Um, yeah, everyone's going to have a little bit of a different method. This is just mine. Uh, it's very quick. Um, it used to be free. It's not quite free anymore, and I'll go over that a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, we're going to be finding some low competition keywords, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so to do this method of keyword research, you're going to need two browser plugins. Um, the first one that you're going to need is called Keywords Everywhere. So you can go to keywordseverywhere.com and you can see right at the top here it's saying Keywords Everywhere is a paid tool. Uh, up until maybe two weeks ago this was not the case. It used to be free. Uh, when I first heard this news I kind of freaked out as did a lot of other people. Uh, but if you go into the pricing you can see right here uh, $10 gets you 100,000 credits. And um, let me see that. So if I get my calculator out and I do 100,000 keywords, um, and I believe every search that you do uses about 30 keywords. That's because I turn some settings on that return more keywords for me. You can turn those off so you just do one keyword per search. I just leave it on. So if you do 100,000 keywords, um, and 30 keywords per search, that'll give you like over 3,000 searches. So this price is actually very, very cheap. Um, and also, I promise I'm not selling this. Uh, I'm not going to drop an affiliate link. Uh, there's no way to, re uh, to say that I referred you to this. Um, this is just a tool that I really like to use. And yeah, it's extremely cheap. I paid $10 and I'm not even sure that'll probably get me, I don't know, months of keyword research. So after you decide how many credits you're going to buy, you go ahead and you download it. And this is just a Google Chrome extension, meaning that it's just a program that hooks on to your browser, your Google Chrome browser. Um, yeah, you can use this one on Firefox too, but I think the other one that we're going to be using has to be on Chrome. So I guess you'll need to be using Google Chrome to do this uh, method of finding low comp keywords. So yeah, here's the second uh, Chrome extension that you're going to need to get. It's called Mozbar. And this one's completely free. You just literally hit the download button and install it. So after you've got them both installed, you just go up here and you turn them on. So here, Keywords Everywhere is on. And yeah, you can see I've only used 5,000 of my 100,000 credits so far. I've still got a long way to go on that $10. Um, but yeah, you'll probably, since it's not completely free anymore, since you are paying for it, you'll probably want to turn it off when you're not using it, or else you'll be, you know, actually using some of your credits for every Google search that you end up doing. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on Mozbar. Uh, to use Mozbar, you'll have to uh, have a Moz account and log in. It's all completely free. Um, yeah, you can see I'm already logged in, so we're good to go. So now what you do is you just need a starting point. So we're going to go ahead and start with um, gaming chairs. Um, for those of you who don't know this about me, I'm into video games. Uh, go ahead and send me a message if you want to talk about some games. But yeah, um, I probably waste a little bit too much time in this stuff. I do not have a gaming chair. I don't plan on buying a gaming chair. I just know that a lot of um, gamers, a lot of streamers, they, um, they promote chairs as part of their uh, way to make money. So I figured we'll just go ahead and look into this real quick. So there's a couple things you're going to see right off the bat. You can see right up here, uh, we have the volume and the cost per click and the competition. This is being dropped in by our Keywords Everywhere tool. And the main thing that I'm looking at here is just the search volume. You know, 74,000, this is a very uh, high search volume term, which is probably going to mean that the competition is quite high as well. Now, the other thing you're going to notice is we've got these little black bars right here um, below every site. And they're just giving us a quick uh, PA and DA, which are Moz metrics of each of these pages that are showing up on the SERP. Um, just to get this out of the way, I'm not really a big fan of Moz. I pretty much only use AREFs. I just use this plugin um, 
for doing keyword research is because it's so quick and easy and it's just giving me a very fast uh, judgment of the site where I can kind of try to see uh, what the competition is going to be like here. So you'll see for gaming chairs, first of all, it being 74,000, you know, we're pretty much going to know it's high competition. And scrolling down, you look at the DA of each of these sites. We got 96, 96, 89, 55. I mean, these are, I don't see a single low DA site on the front page. And that's pretty much what we're looking for with a Moz bar. We're looking for just one or more. I mean, if there's more, that's a very good sign, but we're looking for just one that has a lower DA. And what I mean by lower is probably something that's lower than, say, 30 or so. Um, and you know, that might that number might change a little bit depending on, on you, um, you know, how good you are at SEO, uh, what kind of budget you have, um, that kind of thing. But in general, I'm looking for something that's 30 below, maybe 40 or below. Um, so yeah, you can see on this on this page of the SERP, um, yeah, there's nothing low here. So to get some more ideas, we're gonna move on from this. So we got gaming chairs, and you can see these related keywords over here. These are also being dropped in by our Keywords Everywhere tool. You've got all the search volumes here, and so this is a very quick way to get some additional ideas. So getting these additional ideas, I'm looking at these related keywords on the side. I'm also looking in the titles of the pages that are already ranking on this page. So we have uh, video game chairs. We could look at that one. And the last place we're looking for keyword ideas is down at the bottom of the page. Um, keywords everywhere used to give the search volumes right here as well. Um, maybe I need to mess around with the settings a little bit to get them to show up here. I'm not really sure why they're not showing, but yeah, this is another great place, place to look for um, keyword ideas. So here we have best gaming chairs, cheap gaming chairs. Let's go ahead and look at cheap gaming chairs. This one also is 60,000. Let's go ahead and look for something a little bit with a lower search volume than that. We have bucket seat gaming chairs. Uh, it's only got a search volume of 210. And right off the bat, that pretty much tells me that this one's going to be a lot more accessible. But let's go ahead and check on it. So bucket seat gaming chairs. See the first one, um, high DA right off the bat, high DA. Scroll down. All right, here we have one in the 30s, 39. It's still not super low. Yeah, so you know, this one has a little bit of a lower search volume, but there's nothing that's showing that's super low on this front page which is telling me that the competition still might be a little bit high. So let's go ahead and keep looking for a different keyword. All right, so I went ahead and I found one on the suggestions. We have PewDiePie Gaming Chair. Uh, I know who this is because I'm kind of into gaming. Uh, you might know who he is too. He's, I think, the biggest um, streamer on YouTube. Um, but anyway, this one has 310 a month. And you can see right away, coming down, um, yeah, we don't have any high DA sites right off the bat. Some 40s, 40s, 90s. And then here we have one that's 17 and 17. Um, you know, this is low. So what this is telling me for this uh, SERP is that you don't necessarily need a lot of links to get onto page one for it. Um, you know, and the, the top of the page isn't filled with these super high DA um, pages like it was on some of the previous searches. Let's go ahead and look for another one. All right, I've gone ahead and I found another one for you guys. We have reclining gaming chair with footrest. Uh, it's 480 a month. I found it over here in the uh, related keywords by Keywords Everywhere. Um, scrolling down, you can see the first page, boom, real high DA. But then you get to number three and we're already getting to these very low DA sites. So, you know, there's a couple of them right here. This one's in the 40s. Um, here's another very low DA site, DA30. Yeah, so, you know, right here, this could be one that I would potentially go after. Um, you know, it's a little bit of a low-hanging fruit. If you wanted to get into it a little bit more, you could go in and you could, uh, you know, hop in A refs and actually pull up some of these um, low DA sites and see how many links they have, uh, how relevant their links are, stuff like that to kind of gauge the competition a little bit further. But 
I normally don't even really do that. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit lazy. Um, but you know, just looking at this, just seeing these couple low DA sites right here, I would have no doubt in my mind I can get on to page one uh, for this keyword pretty easily. Um, but yeah, again, this is going to depend on your budget, um, how much you're willing to spend on links, um, you know, how much time you're willing to invest in the project, uh, just your, your knowledge of on-page SEO fundamentals and stuff like that. But yeah, this is pretty much the only thing that I'm doing to find low competition keywords. Um, you know, I, I do this very often and uh, I've had really good success with it. Um, and like I said, you can go a little bit further into this stuff, but that's not something that I normally ever do. Um, yeah, this is proven to be enough to really be a determiner if I'm going to be able to get onto page one of the SERP easily or not. And I just wanted to go over one more thing really quick with you guys. Um, in all of the searches that we did, we were doing uh, keywords that had search volumes in the hundreds. Uh, I believe we didn't do any that were below 200. And you can see that there's a lot of keywords here that are returning a zero search volume or 20 search volume. And for a lot of people, myself included, a lot of these terms can be extremely valuable terms. Um, just because they say zero search volume does not mean that they have zero search volume. Uh, these numbers are not always accurate. Even if you're looking in the Google Keyword Planner, the numbers aren't always accurate. And you can actually uh, you know, get some good traffic and make some good money off of zero uh, search volume terms or you know, things below 100 and they could be considerably easier for you guys to attack and to achieve success with. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask it in the group SEO Roundtable, and we'll see you guys soon.